And there's a docking port here. Can't do that. Warning. Environmental systems compromised. Atmosphere suboptimal. Still no life support. We still have time. We'll find a stable environment. Don't worry. Who's worried? Dedication. Power station. Dedicated. 10th of March, 2522. Lux Hominum Vita. Light of the life of mankind. These plants have not been attended to for quite some time. Planetary analysis. Curious. What'd you find? A scrap of fuselage from the Kronos 2. You sure? The markings are unmistakable. No, I'm a second yet. Transportation 2. Habitat B. Is currently unavailable. In case of an emergency, contact the station's directory. This is a dead end. Let's keep looking. Worth the vessel? I'm going up. I'm already up here. Live up here. What is it? It appears to be an old Atlas transport. And what do you suppose a ship from our time is doing here? Tell me what that looks like to you. I brought it here. Do you know? What the fuck? Hello, Captain Rods. Jack. I'm glad to see you're still safe. Juno, are you saying this is your ship? That's a complicated question. The ship is my home, but it doesn't belong to me. Then who does it belong to? I'm afraid I'm not permitted to disclose that. Motherfucker. Imagine my shock. I am sorry, Captain Rhodes. I would tell you if I could, but my directives... What about life support? Does the ship still have atmosphere? The ship is currently suffering the same power disruptions as the station. However, if one were to cycle the ship's reactor... Then we'd have life support. In theory. How do we get on board? The docking platform is in the next sector, through the security checkpoint. I can show you the way. <laughs> Hold on. You're not allowed to tell us anything about the ship itself, but helping us get on board, that's no problem. My primary directive is to keep you alive, and the best way to do that is to get you oh. on board the ship. The door is sealed. I will need a moment to bypass the security constraints. Sounds good. You take your time. So, you're really not part of the station? I am what's known as a transient program, capable of gaining limited access to a variety of different networks. But I consider the ship to be my true home. There we are. Please give me another option to give her a high five. I fucked that up the first time. I would like to high five you, please. Make up for not doing it in the first game. Ship out the window again. Do you think it's safe following Juno to that ship? There's clearly a lot more she has yet to tell us. Yeah, but not by choice. Somebody's pulling her strings. And I'll bet whoever it is, they're on that ship. To loading bay. Looks like we've got another door on the blink. Let's get a closer look. Oh, uh, there's something that, right? there. Liv, there's something moving on the other side of the door. Some sort of creature. Let me guess. Small, spongy, and covered in tentacles. Yes. How did you know? Because there's one over here, too. Come uh. on, look. What is that? That is a tick. I'm sorry, you say that like I'm supposed to know what it means? It's not like any tick I've seen. Uh. Ticks are an evolved form of the biomass. How do you mean evolved? 
Accelerated evolutionary growth is an inherent physiological trait in all biomass forms. It's one of the main reasons the biomass is so resilient. Why does it keep following me like that? Ticks instinctually seek out the closest viable energy source, which in this case happens to be you. Oh, lovely. All right, so now what do we do? The only way we can proceed is by removing those ticks. Well, let's have a look around then. There's got to be some way to get rid of these things. Let's see. Got some CO2. I don't know if that does anything. Without this thing my face. Oh. Nope, go back. What's this? Nothing. Got it. You had anything, popcorn? There isn't any way to get this door open. So long as that tick is leaching its power, the door is inoperable. What about that disposal unit? That might work. You'll just need to find a way to get them into the chute. It will be dangerous, but I don't see any other option. You'll need to clear the area before boarding the ship. How the hell are we supposed to clear the room if we can't even get inside? This thing? According to the station schematics, there should be another way to access the security checkpoint through the loading bay. It's just this way. Loading bay is right over here. Got you, Liv. I got you. It's awfully dark in there. Are you sure it's safe? Not as sure as I'd like to be. I'll try to scan the area ahead for potential threats. Stand by. I'm seeing a considerable biomass presence on the other side. Shit. Captain Rhodes. We know, Juno. We saw it. I'm afraid this means you'll have to stay behind. Uh, what? Jack and I will continue through the loading bay. I don't want to go with you. No. I'll go with popcorn. Not. not with you. I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot allow you to proceed. The risk is far too great. Well, if it's too risky for me, it's too risky for Jack. I don't agree with that necessarily. It's all right, Liv. I was built for this. You were built for this. I know, you've gotten used to thinking of yourself as invincible, but you're not. Not anymore. I got it, pal. If you go in there with only one shell and something happens, you could... Actually, Captain, I think there may be a way for Jack to avoid that possibility. We need to get you some more friends. They're not going. As I was scanning the loading bay, I detected a working fabricator in the adjacent section. If Jack and I can get it powered on, we should be able to use it to scan his architecture into the station's database. So, you're saying he'd be able to reboot again? Exactly. <sighs> Don't worry, Liv. I can handle this. I promise, Captain. I won't let Jack do anything that might put him in jeopardy. <sighs> All right. All right. If we're gonna do this, let's do it. Just watch yourself in there, okay? I'll be waiting back at the security entrance. Understood. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, let's go, let's Juno. Maybe mind our phrasing, yeah? Oh, I didn't mean. It's all right. I know what you meant. Good luck. Popcorn. Twitter. I'll unlock the door for you. Stand by. Ready when you are. Let's go. I hate it here already. Don't touch anything. Yeah, Don't touch me. The emergency power switch is in this control room. How do I get inside? You'll need to go through the maintenance deck. There should be an access way nearby. Oh. Touch me, I go down. You're sure all the biomass in this sector is dormant? As sure as I can be. 
Of course, that will change once we get emergency power back online. But by then he'll be able to reboot, right? It will take a minute or two to get Jack scanned into the system, but that is more or less correct. More or less, I'll take it. It's probably better than most hots have been in this series. Oh, that's a yikes. Wait, no, I don't have to go through there, do I? And just go through here? Okay, that's, this is a lot better. I go this way. Uh, oh. This override switch will restore emergency power to the local grid. Oh, well, emergency they're all on. Has been restored. The door to the loading bay is unlocked. What about the fabricator? Online and ready to scan. Jack, if you'll follow me. Is it right in here? Put me Just in. inside and we'll begin. Time to become Captain America. This will only take a few moments. New template created. Echo Unit Series 11. Initializing fixed tomographic scan. Mapping target composition. Replicating internal functionality. Linking neural matrix to network. Nice. Scan complete. Did it work? Scan output shows no errors. Neural connection is green. Yes, it worked. You're sure? From this point forward, if Jack's shell becomes damaged or destroyed, he will automatically reprint at the nearest working fabricator. Well, Jack? How do you feel? Like a million bucks. Rather invincible. Alright, well, I suppose I had that coming. <laughs> it's unfortunate that fabricators are incapable of replicating organic matter. Otherwise, Captain, we'd be able to scan you into the system as well. Right. <laughs> well, the important thing is, Jack's back to normal. Oh, look, a COVID tester. We're all done here. Do Jack, I have COVID? I reopen the access hatch. Make your way back through the maintenance duct. I'll be waiting for you by the entrance to the loading bay. Fuck, oh, I'm no. dying. Be careful. Restoring emergency power has awakened the biomass. So, uh. unless you're planning to test your new reboot ability, I would avoid all contact. Understood. Yeah, well, that's nice, isn't it? There way. I'm trying not to die right now. Hey! Touch me, I go down. At least we have a lot of space over here. Oh, don't touch me! Oh, fuck me. That could have been really bad. Well done, making it through unharmed. It's clear you've had extensive experience with the biomass. More than enough. Wouldn't yes. you like to know? Now then. Oh, this shit. This will take us through the loading bay and back around to the rear entrance of the security room. After you two. Liv, in here. we are moving into the loading bay. Copy that. Keep me posted on comms, all right? Of course. I'll continue to scan the station's database for any additional schematics or equipment that might be of use. Sure, you do that. Good luck in there, Jack. Hey! Hey, I'm not organic matter, buddy. Why are you coming after me? The way ahead is through this door. But if you try to open it now, the tick is sure to attack you. We should find a way to pacify it before we even attempt opening the door. Um, what is this panel in the floor? An electrical bypass. It allows you to direct emergency power to various systems in the area. You can use your cutter to gain access.
You can lift the lever to rewrap the arm. <coughs> ah, so the bypass powers the crane arm. That will certainly keep the tech occupied. Now we should be able to safely open the door. We're fortunate the store has an emergency release. Not all of them do. Is this crane mobile? I believe so. You should be able to use the overhead handles to push it along the rail, or use the turning wheel to rotate the arm. Now just pull the release handle and the door will unlatch. That's it. You should be able to slide the door open. holding the rail to anchor yourself as you move the crane. Where am I taking this? Watch yourself. There are two more ticks at the end of the corridor. Where am I going? Stay over there, buddy. Power rerouted. It appears the transformer on the far wall is now live. The tick is still focused on the door. What's in these containers? Dietary provisions, most likely. Salt, coffee, various synthetic grains. Whoa, whoa, wait. Back up. You found coffee? I wouldn't advise <laughs> drinking this coffee, Captain. That did it. Well done. You stay over there, buddy. More ticks in the next room. We'll need some way to distract them. Um. Hey, here, by the way. Um, we're going to close you. Okay, there's a bypass there, but there's something here. panel well let's say there's you nope this crane arm is already online the slider is unlocked you should be able to move the crane just like before. That looks to be our best option for distracting those ticks. If you can find a way to move the mouse. Got it. Skillful work, Echo One. So let's leave you there for now. What is this over here? Door powered down. The tick can sense me through the glass. Yes. As long as it can read your energy signature, the tick will continue to follow you. Hmm. Perhaps I can use that to my advantage. Indeed. 
Ticks may be deadly, but they're not exactly intelligent. Losers. Uh, how do I? Fuck, I need that door open, don't I? Oh, I'm the loser. Oh, I regret everything. Okay. Okay, hold up. Oh, let's not bring you way the fuck over here. Door power restored. Yep, y'all stay over there. Oh, hi, there's more of you. I'm guessing there's no way to open this door. This is concerning. I didn't realize the infestation was so prevalent in this area of the facility. You don't have any way to detect it in advance. I only have limited access to the station's internal sensors, which at the moment aren't even fully operational. You mind telling us just what the hell happened here? There was a biomass outbreak. I'll bet it's your attention to detail that sets you apart from all the other AIs. There's not much more I can tell you without violating my directives. Well, what about the crew? Are they really all gone? All 118 souls aboard the station have either perished or were evacuated. So then, what the hell are we doing here? After your unexpected arrival aboard the Astrea, I was directed to bring you somewhere safe. This is safe? Well, the habitat was safe at the time. Now the ship is our only option. Brilliant. Did I come in from here or no? I don't think I did. Okay. There's absolutely no way. Oh, there's no way. Hey! Don't fucking do anything, please! Fucking crawl! Oh, we made it. Now we need a battery socket. Okay. Oh, there you are. This door is completely disconnected from the power grid. It will need an external power source. Like a battery. Precisely. Got you. another battery uh, 
how much farther, as you know? Nearly there. The security room is just on the other side of this depot. I assume we'll find more tick swarms? Technically, the correct term for a group of ticks is a murder. Appropriate. I Very. suppose. I always found the term a little too on the nose. I'm assuming I can't take this out. Oh, I can. That's drained. Shit. Is there a recharge station somewhere? Doesn't look like it. That's a yikes. Quite a sizable crane. It also has greater freedom of movement, capable of sliding in four directions rather than just two. There's no way I can't, there's no way I make it though, is there? Yeah, I'm dead. Shields at 95%. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. Motherfucker. Yeah, fuck you. Come on then. You know you want this? go come on fuck I need a battery Okay. Oh, wait, I get what they meant now by that. Okay. I don't know how many can be on here. This is going to be the big thing here. I didn't mean to do that. Getting to be quite the tick experts, are we? I imagine navigating a gauntlet of tick infested corridors would make anyone an expert. Actually, it would probably just kill them. Either way, well done. Oh, okay, it's gonna be. Yeah, y'all can stay the fuck over there. Ow. on getting you to safety. I suspect much will be made clear once we have you secure aboard the ship. Do I have to go back out there? I have to go back out there, okay. Okay, I see now. Battery locked in. Door online. Yeah, 
I'll stay over there. Oh, hello. Jack! You made it. Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all its might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all, I'd say things are going pretty well. Listen, why don't I keep this little bugger occupied while you deal with the one on the door? Do you know, you can help him out there, right? I believe so. Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? The tick is siphoning power from the disposal unit. You'll have to use the manual ejection switch. Tick jettisoned. Way to go, Jack. Just one more to go. Okay. How do we do this? The creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Liv, come over to the door. Whatever you need. Is there some way to open these shutters? The controls are inoperable. I can't just force them open? I suppose you could try. Though the mechanism locking them in place is quite robust, it would require a considerable amount of force to break it. Oh. I must say, you made that look incredibly easy. He does that. Fuck you! That's it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Love that. Nicely done. Now, Juno, if you would, please. Jack, I need you to repower the door so I can open it. Got you. Hello. Appreciate it. Are you all right? PG. Better, now that we're finally clear of the biomass. Amen to that. Um, Captain Rhodes. What is it? More biomass. Oh, do you know? You're kidding me right now with this. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going in through here. Get her a suit, please. No, you're not kidding. Not to worry, Captain. I already have a solution. While sorting through the station's database, I managed to locate a set of design specs for a protective EVA suit. An EVA suit? With an air supply? A limited air supply. We'll still want to get you to a stable environment as soon as possible. More importantly, the suit will provide limited protection against the biomass. I've already queued up the schematic. All you have to do is enter the fabricator, and we can begin. Uh, can't we just print the suit and I'll put it on out here? The fabricator will perfectly form the suit to fit your body. It only takes a moment. Okay. I believe in you. I have to do it, and so can you. Go, live, go. Go, live, go. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm okay. But do you know, you could have warned me this was going to feel so weird. How would I know? I see you. Oh, hello. Nice. Well, what do you think? Bit of a step up, wouldn't you say? I like it. A marked improvement over your old EVA suit. My old EVA suit was being held together by duct tape. I certainly hope this was an improvement. Come on, let's go. Let's go. OP OP. Give me a moment to open the door. Oh, hey, listen. The ship is just up ahead. Oh, I almost forgot how nauseating this stuff looks up close. No cause for alarm. Your suit's filtration system is designed specifically to handle airborne contaminants. You'll remain safe as long as direct contact is avoided. Hey, where are you guys at, slowpokes? 
actually. Nice to see you've made it. Is the ship not connected to the station? Given the risk of contamination, the ship remains severed from the facility. Only under the most extreme circumstances... Uh, I'd say this qualifies. Of course, Captain. Stand by while I extend the gangway. Once inside, I suggest making your way to the bridge. From there... Yeah, I'm familiar. From the cockpit, I can use the number two engineering panel to cycle the reactor and bring the ship online. That's correct. Juno, are you not coming with us? All the power disruptions have rendered me unable to connect to the ship's mainframe. Once the power levels normalize, I should be able to join you on board. Good luck. Sounds good. Hey, popcorn. Ow. God. What are the odds? What do you mean, Liv? Oh, nothing. It's just... I, I grew up on a ship almost exactly like this one. It was part of the Solar Colonial Initiative. How long do you suppose it's been in service? No idea. We just have to find someone and ask. I got some O2 for you if you need it. And now you're throwing stuff. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Atmospheric pressure normal. Oxygen levels normal. Well, that's promising. Hello? Anyone here? Nothing. I think it's just us, Jack. There are a multitude of emblems, presumably from previous missions. Well, let's have a look, shall we? It's a bit worn down, but it appears we are on the Argos. Oh. Hello? It reads 2124. This ship was only two years old when we left. Oh, what the f- Hey! Damn. The bridge doors on I'm a robot, remember? Can't be doing this to you. Pioneer-class ships like this have only one hatchway to the bridge. So no. We'll need to get resourceful. Let's look around. Here's a way to the bridge. These cargo containers are designated for terraforming equipment. Probably used to store spare parts for Atmo processors. Ooh, fabricator. I spent a lot of time around tech like this. There is both an activation pod and a fabricator. That's odd. The fabricator is definitely not original to the ship. Likely taken from the station. Given the vessel's apparent age, perhaps it has been refitted. Yeah. Probably several times over at this point. Is this anything? Anything here? Nope. Let's keep looking. What is that? With the bridge door unpowered, we'll need to try our luck in engineering. The crude nature of this repair is a bit troubling. Oh, I don't know. Bit of character never killed anyone. What about loss of atmosphere? All right. Fair point. What is the mission?
the reactor. Where? Oh, hi. I didn't realize where we're going over here. Let's go popcorn. Here. That's our best bet. Something in here. What in the... I know these Pioneer class ships pretty well. But this equipment... Oh. I don't recognize any of it. And more importantly, what the hell is that? I guess that's not that important to you. Fair. Betting it's the reactor. Given its size and location, it seems likely, but I'm entirely unfamiliar with this design. As am I. I say we turn it on and find out. If it works, the ship should start generating its own power again. Which would give us stable life support. Exactly. I got you. I'll see if there's a way to turn it on directly. Do you want to give the room a once-over in case there's an external control? Oh, Jack! That console just came on. What did you do? The wires feed into some sort of switch. Okay, well, give it a try. It could be linked to the reactor. Got you. You get anything? Ah, oh, here we go. Unfortunately, not controls for the reactor. It's a console for a cargo lift. I'll try lowering it. See if it leads to something useful. Whoa, wait a minute. Warning, biomass threat detected. Containment protocols engaged. Jack, come look at this. These canisters are holding ticks in some sort of stasis. There is a device on top. Oh, right. It's emitting some sort of... Hello? Hello? Ain't no way, come on. Energy field. Could the field okay. be keeping them docile? I think you're right. Look, they have no idea we're here. No. What the hell? Do you copy? Who was Jack? You can hear that, right? Yep. Not gone daft. It would appear Juno is not alone after all. Juno, respond. Hold What's on. happening over there? This... This is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Who are you? Olivia Rhodes. What are you doing on my ship? Your ship? Yes, my ship. What are you doing out of the habitat? We lost power. Juno brought us here to try and get life support. Never mind. Just, just stay where you are. I'll be there as soon as I finish. 
rebooting the ship's power grid. Alan, out. Wait. Jack, if he reboots the power grid, what would that mean for these containment canisters? If they lose power, maybe we should find out from farther away. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being a bit cautious. Containment protocols engaged. No, damn it. We're locked in. Um. We can remove the biomass by raising the lift. Right. I've got the lift controls. Get me power again. I'll start gotcha. the lift as soon as the console's active. Got it. Sending lift now. Come on, come on, come on. Power cycle initiated. No! We're not gonna make it! Power initializing. Shit! to engage. That hurt my eyes. Mr. Mayor. Sensors reading unidentified spatial anomaly in this sector. Cross-check Atlas database for similar phenomena. Acknowledged. No records found. Recommend mission abort. Negative. Maintain course. The Kronos 2 remains priority. Acknowledged. Delta actual. What? Delta 13. You appear to be in distress. Where am I? I will take your response as confirmation. Delta 6, is there a problem? I suppose that depends, actual. Does Delta 13 often forget where they are? Athena, 13 appears to be malfunctioning. Please advise. Possible EM interference from the anomaly. Fucking snitch. Electromagnetic event detected. That was interference from the anomaly. Affirmative. Recommend all units perform cursory systems check. Proceed. Units, please verify your operational status. Delta actual. Online. Delta 9. Online. Delta 6. Online. 
Delta 13. Online. Confirmed. Delta 13 appears to have recovered. The results may be temporary. Yep. Recommend uh, monitoring you. unit for further You specifically. Acknowledged. Delta 6. Delta 13 is your responsibility until further notice. Acknowledged. Engaging chaperone protocol. Delta 13, please confirm. No, fuck you. Confirmed. Confirmed. Excellent. Command hierarchy verified. Be advised, I'll play along. approaching Kronos 2 mining facility. Distance, 4,800 meters. Did she say we are approaching the Kronos 2? Affirmative. The station went dark several days ago. We're here to determine why. The station was destroyed when an unknown vessel arrived through temporal displacement. The ensuing debris impacts resulted in catastrophic damage. That is an oddly specific theory. It's not a theory. I was there. Delta Actual. Short-range communications have intercepted a pre-recorded distress call from the Kronos 2 captain. Got you through. Tank commander from Alba. This is Captain Emilio Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a devil storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. Message repeats. Fascinating. Indeed. Proximity alert. Sensors detecting unknown devices in the area. Isolate and enhance. What is going on? Identify. No matching records. The design suggests weaponization. Threat assessment and determined. Are there other ships in the area? Scanning. The SCI Ithaca and accompanying fleet are on course to pass within 47 kilometers of this location. That's too close. We need to establish a warning beacon. No civilian vessel should. Athena, report. Warning. Electromagnetic event imminent. Recommend maintaining a minimum safe distance from the anomaly. Acknowledge. Begin deceleration for deployment. Prioritize threat assessment. Initiating emergency deceleration. Vector into nearest device. Deceleration complete. Be advised. The nearest device is directly off the port bow. Understood. Delta 9, take point with me. Deploy recon sites. Affirmative. Beginning assessment. Secondary objective, establish a warning beacon. Remaining Delta units, deploy now. That's us, 13. Let's go. Recon sat 3 indicates the device may be a form of torpedo. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Moving to secure. Let's get moving. Warning, third electromagnetic event imminent. Anomaly pulse detected. That was weird. Boot up initiated. Am I dead? Jack! Jack! It's okay. It's me. It's Liv. Liv? Jack! You're alright. Liv, something's happened. I... I'm not entirely sure how to describe it. I pulled your memory archive while you were out. Your logs are flooded with all this... bizarre data. Delta Squad, bio torpedoes, something called the Ithaca. Jack, what is all this? What's going on? Liv, I saw the Kronos. I saw our old station. Come again? I was on a ship, a shuttle. There were other Echo units, a military detachment sent to investigate what happened to the Kronos. Okay. 
Maybe you're not so all right after all. Called that one a little too early. It's not a malfunction. I was there. I was home. Okay. I believe you. Listen, there's... There's something you need to know. While you were out, I had a chance to meet with the captain of this ship. The man we heard over the comms? His name is Dr. Harlan. He said... He told me... Liv, what is it? What's wrong? <laughs> you know what? It's it's probably better if, if you just... No, nah, no, nah, tell me! Oh, see for yourself. Get a closer look at your memory archive while we're at it. Come on. I'm not crazy, I promise. Cyphering the ship's power by the simple the insulation team, allowing the ships to escape. Listen, this Dr. Harlan isn't what you might call the cheeriest of souls. Sounds like it. It might take some getting used to. Juno, I have Jack. Can you let us up? I did warn you the station's generator was temperamental. But how much longer can the ship operate on emergency power? Maintaining our current energy oh. drop a few hours. A few hours. Before I go up, I just want optimistically. Interesting. Let's go meet this doctor.